Hello everyone, it's Crime Week here on Tim with Tomes and Tales, and today we are reviewing one of my favorite novels, 1939's The Big Sleep, written by Raymond Chandler. It starts off in Los Angeles with a private detective named Philip Marlowe being called out to the estate of a dying millionaire. Old Man Sternwood has received a letter concerning one of his two daughters and believes the sender is gearing up to blackmail the old man. He hires Mar Marlowe to sort it out and see if it's true. However, no one else believes this is what Marlowe was hired to do. They all seem to think Sternwood has hired him to track down the millionaire's son-in-law, Rusty, a whom is rumored to have run off with another man's wife. What I love the most about this uh, story is that the dialogue is amazing. It's no wonder why Chandler's works have inspired so many copycat writers. It even influenced my own novel. It is a well-paced crime novel and gets dirty unlike some cozy mysteries. The tropes used are done to perfection. Now, I will admit some of the minor characters were a bit too underdeveloped and underused, and our hero's thoughts on homosexuals may come across as problematic to some of today's readers. Personally, I didn't think it crossed the line, but others might think so. So I will pass that along, along that warning there for you. Now, if you enjoy great dialogue in your mysteries, this is the title for you. It is practically poetry. If you feel ready to move away from the cozy mysteries to something more rough, but still not quite as harsh as today's true crime stories, Chandler is an excellent choice. Some of the novel is a product of his time, and The Big Sleep is a snapshot of that time in Los Angeles without the glitz of Hollywood to mask it. Now, remember, this is just my own review, and your opinion may be different. Consider checking out this book for yourself and making up your own mind. Thank you again and for joining me today. If you enjoy the content of my channel and want to support what I do, I would appreciate you liking and subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications, or if you'd rather, you can check out my own book, Baltimore City. You can find links to it below. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay safe and have a happy reading experience.